Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving my review for the House on Haunted Hill remake from 2006. I don't know, something. I can't remember. Um, I don't think it was 90s. Was it 90s? Or two, early 2000s? I think it was early 2000s. I think it was early 2000s. Anyway, it's not important. Just. I get hung up on, I, I want to know, because <laughs> if I can't remember. But, uh, anyways. 99. 99. Okay. Uh, this is obviously a remake of the Vincent Price film. They actually used the last name of Price as our main guy, our main character played by uh, Jeffrey Rush uh, in this remake. Um, has a pretty pretty good cast, at least a 90s cast, you can say, uh, 90s or 2000s cast. <laughs> um, the, this film definitely dives more into the paranormal haunted house story than what the original did. Um, the original didn't really have, didn't really use... Go, didn't really play on the ghost and the house actually being haunted. It was set up completely different, completely different. Same story, but just done completely differently. This one definitely goes into the haunted house paranormal aspect. The house, instead of the, the maiden butler locking it up, locking them in, the house them, itself locks them in. Um, they die because of the ghosts killing them. Um... I think the acting is all fine. Uh, I like the fact that you still have that consistency with the wife cheating with one of the doctors that was invited to the party uh, and them setting everything up to try to kill the husband, you know, kill Rush's, uh, Rush's character, Price, <laughs> to kill Price <clears throat> uh, in this one. Um, my biggest flaw, it's a couple flaws, one, while it had some gore, I wish the kills would have been a little bit better, um, the scene where the first woman dies, we don't really... I wish we could have got to see her getting split apart and chopped up or whatever. Um, so I wish I, I wish the gore was a little, little, little bit better. I'm a gore hound, so I love seeing people get ripped apart and stuff. You could be a serial killer. Uh, can't tell people. <laughs> um. The ending when the wife gets thrown through the door and it opens up the house and that CGI cloud, whatever comes out, that was just terrible. That's god awful. I don't know why they did that route. I would have much rather seen... Uh, actual ghost than a freaking cloud and then the ending when our two um our, our two main couple our main couple that survives they're sitting on top they're, they're sitting outside on this little ledge they can't get back in there's maybe three feet if that three to four feet of ledge to sit on and they have no cell phones that I'm aware of I don't think that, uh, no cell phones that I know of uh, I have the money because it slipped through under the door but they're sitting on the side of this this mansion or uh, whatever with nowhere to go they can't jump down because they would die 
they can't go back in or they would die. They have no way to contact nobody. So, yay, you won. But, what are you going to do now? You're sitting on the side of the building. You going to wait somebody to flag them down? I mean, <laughs> it just, a wait for somebody to notice you're missing and hope to God before you starve and thirst to death. I mean, I don't know. It, it It's okay. It's an okay film. I much prefer the original, even though the uh, stuff in the original is pretty cheesy. Uh, I would much prefer watch that than this one. Um, I still enjoy it. I can watch it, especially, you know, if she wants to watch it, which was why we watched it, because she wanted to watch it. I don't mind throwing it on and watching, um, because I think the performances and the movie, for the most part, works. It's just, once you get towards the end, it kind of loses me. And, uh, really hurts this film a lot. I gave it a 3 out of 5. I thought that was pretty fair. Um, we have the Screen Factory Edition, because I think that's the only way we could have got the Blu-ray for it. Because um, I don't think it had a Blu-ray, at least in this region, uh, before we got the Screen Factory. I know the second one does, which we also own in a triple feature set with Ghost Ship and something else. I can't remember the other movie with it. But, um, uh, but we own it too, which I have not watched a sequel in forever. I know I think that deals with the sister of the blonde character from the first one, I think. It's been a while since I've seen the, the, the sequel for it, but, um, I would say I remember the sequel having better gore. Uh, I think the kills were better in that one. But, um, Anything you want to say? It's good. I'm ready to pour it. Done a lot of video. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. It, it's, it's not for everybody, for sure. So, if you're hardcore into the original, you're not going to like this one. I'd say avoid it. If you're okay with films of the, you know, in that era of the, you know, the 99, the films that came out in like 99, early 2000s, stuff like that, middle, middle to late 90s. If you're into those style films, definitely check it out. But if you're not, then definitely say just avoid it. But, uh, that's everything for my review of the remake of House on Haunted Hill. So, please comment, like, and subscribe, hit the bell to be notified for all videos, and we will see you all in the next one.